Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will start a new tutorial series for Java 8 and the new features which were introduced in it. In this video, we will cover the brief introduction to Java 8 and its features. And in upcoming videos, we will have detailed session for every feature. I upload two videos every week on different topics. And if you like watching my videos, please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any new video update. So without any further delay, let's start. Oracle released a new version of Java, which is Java 8 in March 2014. It was a revolutionary release of Java for software development. It includes various upgrades to Java programming, JVM tools and libraries. Even after many years later, with many new versions already available, one of the survey which was conducted in February 2020 found that almost 65% of developers reported that Java 8 remained the most often used Java release for them. Java 8 is a major feature release of Java programming language. It provided support for functional programming, new JavaScript framework, new APIs for date time manipulation, new streaming API and many more other features. First feature is Lambda Expressions. So the Lambda Expressions helps us to write our code in functional style. It provides a clear, concise way to implement single abstract method by using an expression. Single abstract method interface is an interface where there is uh, at most one abstract method is available, not more than one. Lambda Expressions are widely used in collection framework for the manipulation of lists. This is the syntax if we want to declare a lambda expression. So the syntax given here, we have an argument list. Then we have this special symbol of arrow with the hyphen and greater than sign. And after that, we can define the body of that abstract method which is available in the interface. The next feature which was added in Java 8 was functional interface. An interface that contains only one abstract method also known as SAM. Uh, that is single abstract method which is known as functional interface it can have any number of default or static method inside the interface but the abstract method has to be only one it can also declare the methods of object class as well next feature is method reference java 8 method reference is used to refer method of a functional interface it is compact and easy form of lambda expression so it can be used as uh, an alternative to lambda expression. Every time when we are using lambda expressions to just referring to a method, we can replace it with method reference and it will work perfectly. Now let's see the syntax of method reference. So in this case, we can specify class name and then double colon and then the method name. The next feature which was introduced in Java 8 was optional. So in our day-to-day -day programming, we have faced null pointer exception a lot and we have to do a lot of if else and a lot of logic that we need to write to handle uh, all those null pointer exceptions. So Java introduced a new class optional in Java 8. It is a public final class which is used to deal with null pointer exceptions in Java application. We must import java.util package to use this class as it is present in java.util package. It provides methods to check presence of value for a particular variable. So this is how its syntax will be. So we need to check vari variable where if it is null or not. So for that we can define it like optional string is the type of that variable check null and then we will get optional dot of nullable and that variable. After that we can uh, use check null to see if it is having any value inside that using is present method. So it is used to check if the value is present in the variable or not. And based on that, uh, we can perform our operations. The next feature is for each method. So Java provides a new method for each to iterate the elements. It is defined in iterable and stream interfaces. It is default method defined in iterable interface. Collection classes which extends iterable interface can use for each method to iterate through the elements of that collection. This method takes a single parameter, which is a functional interface. So we can pass lambda expression as an argument as well. Now let's see the syntax for using for each. So suppose we have a list 
and we want to print all the items of that list so using for each function we can use list dot for each and the argument that will be a lambda expression here so we can provide argument as item and we want to print that specific item so using this code we will be able to print all the elements present in that list so as we already know lambda expressions can be replaced using uh, the method reference so similarly we can use for each and uh, the argument we can pass the method reference system dot out double colon print ln the next main feature is date time api java has introduced a new date and time api in java 8 the java dot time package contains java 8 date and time classes there were few drawbacks of existing date time apis due to which this new API was introduced. The first one was thread safety. The existing classes such as date and calendar does not provide thread safety. Hence, it leads to uh, concurrency issues that are needed to be taken care of by the developers. The new date and time APIs of Java 8 provide thread safety and are immutable. Hence, avoiding the concurrency issues from developers. The second issue which was there was bad API design. The classic date and calendar APIs does not provide methods to perform basic day-to-day -day functionalities. The date and time classes introduced in Java 8 are ISO centric and provides number of different methods for performing operations regarding date, time, duration and periods. There was another drawback which was difficult time zone handling in the old APIs. To handle the time zone using classic date and calendar classes is difficult because developers were supposed to write the logic for it. With the new APIs, the time zone handling can be easily done with local and zoned date time APIs. The most commonly used classes are local date, local time and local date time. As their name indicates, they represent the local date time from the context of observer. The next main feature which was introduced in Java 8 was default and static methods. So since Java 8 introduced default and static methods in the interfaces, this feature enables us to add new functionality in the interfaces without breaking the existing contract of implementing classes. Methods which are defined inside the interfaces and tagged with the default keyword as known as default methods. These methods are non-abstract methods and can have method bodies. In Java 8, java.util.stream package consists of classes, interfaces, and enums to allow functional style operations on the elements. It is used to process the collection of objects with intermediate and terminal operations. So the, under the intermediate operations, we have map, flat map, filter, and sorted operations. And under terminal operations, we have collect for each and reduce type of operations. And this is how uh, we can use the stream api so suppose i have a list uh, which is which name is list and i want to uh, square each of its element and then print them on the console so using stream api we can do it in the, this single line itself so how it will be done list dot stream so it will put this list uh, collection to the stream and after that we have map as an intermediate operation so what it will do it will uh, take one element at a time and square it and once that whole oper intermediate operation is done then the terminal operation for each will be called and it will do nothing but just printing out uh, the mapped element so here we will be able to see the squared value of all the elements which are present in that list in addition to these features there are some more features which are available here we will not go in deep for those so these are like javascript engine then we have string joiner uh, we have collectors uh, in Java 8 base 64 encoding decoding was also uh, enhanced. Then we have parallel array sorting. In addition to these features, there are few um, functional interfaces which are provided in Java 8 itself, so which are predicate functions, consumers and uh, suppliers. So in our upcoming sessions, we will see all these components in detail as well as in practice also. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. So if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.